Hi judges, welcome to another segment of Honor Leog Memorial High School Senior High School. And for today's video lesson, we will discuss um, the topic all about derivatives. So when we are getting the derivatives, we are also getting the limit, and we're also getting the slope. So remember that. Again, if you are getting the derivative of a certain function, we are also getting its limit, and we're also getting the slope. So, in order for us to find the derivative of a certain function, we need first to identify whether it is a linear function, it is a polynomial or quadratic function, um, if it is inside a root sign. So, that is um, how we get a derivative of a certain function. If it is a rational function, therefore, there is a certain formula in which we'll be able to get the derivative of that function. So, for this one, let us first start with the basic about derivatives. So, what is the symbol for derivative? So, the symbol for derivative would be f prime of x, will also be y prime, can also be dy over dx, could also be the derivative of f of x, so, there are many symbols for derivatives. And these are only few of uh, the symbols that we'll be using in order for us to um, identify um, the derivative of a certain function. So, let's start with the derivative of a linear function. So when we're dealing with the derivative of a linear function, so let us first um, go back to what we have learned from algebra. Um, the equation of a line. Therefore, we have here y is equal to mx plus b. We're in, it is a linear function. Remember that if we are getting the derivative of a linear function, therefore we could say that y prime is equal to just m. Therefore, if you are getting the derivative of a linear function, we are only getting its slope. For example, if you are given y is equal to 5x plus 7, therefore, what is the derivative of y is equal to 5x plus 7? That is the coefficient of the variable x. And that becomes y prime is equal to 5. Another example, what if you are given y is equal to 7 minus 4x? Again, we could say that the derivative of this linear function will just be the coefficient of the variable x, which is negative 4. And that is also the slope. Okay, next is the derivative of a constant. How do we identify if the given is a constant? Okay, we could say that a given is a constant. If there is no variable present in the equation, for example, 1,000, 700, 1 million, or there are cer certain symbols in which it contains values, just like pi, e, those are some of the constants na meron tayo. So those are some of the symbols that um, they have certain or specific values. Okay, so how do we now define the derivative of a constant? Remember that if there is a constant, for example, you are given y is equal to 400 pi. 400 pi is considered as a constant. Therefore, remember that the derivative of a constant is just equal to 0. Okay, so what if you're given y is equal to 1 million? What is the derivative of y is equal to 1 million? Very good. Therefore, y prime is equal to 0. Okay, so that is how we get the derivative of a linear function and a constant. So let's now move on to the power rule. How do we use power rule? Remember that power rule is only applicable when there is a power or when there is an? Very good. When there is an exponent. Therefore, we could only use this if we will be able to express a certain given in terms of its exponent. Example, we could be, we uh, will be having x raised to 5, therefore there is a power. 
um, we'll be having x raised to one half. Yes, one half here is considered as the exponent of x. We also have x raised to three halves. We also have x raised to one hundred. Therefore, these are um, the exponents of the given. So, what is the formula if we would like to get the derivative of a function when there is an exponent? Here comes the power rule. So, how do we use this rule to identify the derivative of a certain function? Okay. Therefore, what if we're given y is equal to x raised to n? This is now the formula. If you are given y is equal to x raised to n, so what we'll be doing is to just get the derivative by this method. Therefore, we could say that y prime is equal to, this is the power rule, bring down n, write down the given, which is x raised to n, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. And this is how we get the derivative of a function which contains exponents. Example, what if we're given y is equal to x raised to 5? Okay, so how do we identify the derivative of y is equal to x raised to 5? Therefore, y prime is equal to what do we do now? Using power rule, bring down 5, write down the given, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. That becomes y prime is equal to 5x raised to 4. Another given. What if you're given y is equal to x raised to 7? Therefore, we could say that this is x raised to 7. y prime is equal to bring down 7, multiply to the given, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. Therefore, y prime is equal to 7 x raised to what? Very good. That is x raised to 6. So that is how we identify the derivative of a function which contains an exponent. Another, what if there is a constant multiple now in the equation? Example, y is equal to 10 x raised to 6. So how do we get the derivative of y is equal to n is equal to 10 x raised to 6? So this is very simple. So we will also use the formula that we use in power rule. Okay. Therefore, y prime is equal to bring down 6, multiply that to the coefficient or the constant given, and then write x raised to 6 and then subtract 1 from its exponent simplify therefore we could say that y prime is equal to 6 times 10 yes that is 60 and then x raised to 5 and that is the derivative of the given another what if you're given y is equal to 7 x raised to 5 plus 8x raised to 4 minus 5x raised to 3. Okay. Therefore, this becomes y prime is equal to 7x raised to 5. Bring down 5. Multiply that to 7. Write down x raised to 5 and then subtract 1 from the exponent. Plus, bring down 4. Multiply that to 8. Multiply that to x raised to 4, subtract 1 from the exponent. Minus, bring down 3, multiply that to 5, multiply that to x, raised to 3 minus 1. Let us now simplify. Therefore, y prime is now equal to what is 5 times 7? That is 35. x raised to what? 5 minus 1 to 4. Plus, what is 8 times 4? Very good. That is 32. X raised to what is 4 minus 1? 3. Therefore, that is X cubed. Minus, what is 3 times 5? 15. X raised to 3 minus 1, which is 2. Therefore, this is the derivative of 
y is equal to 7x raised to 5 plus 8x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed. So that is how we do it. Therefore, um, you can see from our example that when we are getting the derivative, therefore, we are um, subtracting one from the exponent. Okay? So, that is how we get the derivatives of a linear of a 